A proposal to raise taxes for downtown business owners and residents has been put on hold by Asheville City Council. The plan involves what's known as a business improvement district, or BID. There are more than 50 North Carolina cities that already have them. Now, the plan includes more downtown cleanup, green space, and security. But as Frank Crocker reports, Asheville will have to wait. You could call it a strange situation here tonight. Safe to say it's unusual that people would come to City Hall to ask for higher taxes. Many consider it one of the nicest small business districts anywhere. Quaint, alive with energy, and very tourist friendly. But anyone who lives here knows it is not without its problems. The bid is intended to work towards solving some of those. To make downtown cleaner, greener, and safer. That's at a cost of seven cents per $100 valuation. Most who came to council chambers tonight were obviously in agreement, but not all. The BID proposals here in Asheville will only serve to make life much more difficult for the homeless, in my opinion. If hired security ambassadors are used to harass, persecute, and, pro and punish marginalized and vulnerable people, it is not good enough to simply worry about tourism and dollars. There were those who pointed to past achievements of people who started the first downtown revitalization push. These were leaders of vision and creativity. You have a choice as well to try something new and different. If it works, Asheville will be hailed as the progressive town that people already assume it to be. Others put their own points of view out there, very different points of view, by looking ahead. I ask council tonight to protect the unique and vibrant culture of our community by rejecting the bid and any attempt to privatize our public spaces. Our downtown is not a shopping mall. We leave the decision to the mayor and council. Please remember that many great things began with a rather unconventional idea. And without risk, there is little reward. But the decision now is to send it all back to the drawing board. Many people here tonight agree they want a bid. Even city council wants that, just not this bid. The next public hearing is set for September 25th. In Asheville, Frank Crocker, News 13. In other business tonight, Asheville City Council approved a 2% wage increase for more than 1,000 city workers. Back in May, Asheville police officers and firefighters asked council to consider increasing their wages by 4% after three years of a salary freeze. The city had initially budgeted for only 1%, but felt 2% was a fair compromise. 